Speak Out 2nd Edition Elementary Workbook by Francis Eales, Steve Oakes and Lewis Harrison Published by Pearson Copyright Pearson Education Limited 2015 Unit 1 Welcome Recording 1 1 German Russian Mexican Canadian 2 Polish Spanish Scottish 3 Portuguese Chinese Japanese 4 Greek Thai Unit 1 Recording 2 Keys Mobile phone Passport Sunglasses Sweater Diary Magazine Laptop Newspaper Watch Ticket Camera Unit 1, Recording 3 Hello and welcome to the travel programme. We're at Heathrow Airport in London to ask people about their bags. What's in their hand luggage? Excuse me, sir. Do you have a moment? Oh, uh, yes, OK. Can I ask you a couple of questions? First of all, where are you from? I'm from Germany. And are you here on business or are you a tourist? I'm here on business. And can I ask you, what's in your bag? In my bag? Um, uh, let's see. It's a small bag, so not very much. My passport and plane ticket, my mobile phone and, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, yes, and keys. Uh, that's all. Thank you very much. Excuse me, can I ask you a couple of questions? It's for the radio. The radio? Oh, OK. <laughs> right. Where are you from? I'm American. And are you here on business? No, no. I'm just a tourist. And can I ask you what's in your bag today? <laughs> That's a strange question. <laughs> uh, OK. Uh, a camera, a newspaper from home from L.A., my sunglasses, my MP3 player and earphones, um, that's it. And your passport? It's here, in my pocket. My passport, credit cards and money are never in my bag. Thanks very much. Excuse me, where are you from? I'm French. Why? It's for a radio program. Are you here on business? Yes, yes, on business. And what's in your bag? My bag? Oh, OK. My mobile, my laptop, a magazine, sunglasses, my passport and ticket, and my diary. That's it. Thank you. Unit 1. Recording 4. 1. These glasses are mine. 2. 
These keys are yours. Three. That bag is Jack's. Four. Those pencils are mine. Five. This mobile phone is Anita's. Six. That magazine is yours. Unit one. Recording five. One. A. Could I have one of those postcards, please? B. Could I have one of those postcards, please? Two. A. Can I have a return ticket to Paris, please? B. Can I have a return ticket to Paris, please? Three. A. Can I have a cheese sandwich, please? B. Can I have a cheese sandwich, please? Four. A. Could I have a tea and a coffee, please? B. Could I have a tea and a coffee, please? Five. A. Can I have those sunglasses, please? B. Can I have those sunglasses, please? Unit one, recording six. One. How much is a coffee cake, please? It's two euros. Two. Could I have a return to Sydney, please? That's ten fifty. Three. Is that a cheese sandwich? No, it's a chicken sandwich. Four. That's eight euros, please. Ah, I only have six euros. Unit one, recording seven. Hello. Hello. Can I have a tomato salad and a mineral water, please? That's two euros for the salad, and one euro for the mineral water. Thanks. Anything else? Uh, how much is an ice cream? One euro fifty cents. Okay. Can I have an ice cream too? Hi. How much are the sandwiches? Which ones? The egg and the chicken. The egg is two euros seventy cents, and the chicken is three fifty. And a cheese sandwich? That's two twenty. Okay. Can I have two cheese sandwiches and a chicken sandwich, please? Anything to drink? Uh, yes. Three coffees, please. Three coffees at one fifty each. Okay, so that's four forty for the cheese sandwiches, three fifty for the chicken sandwich, and another four fifty for the coffees. That's twelve euros and forty cents altogether. Here you are. Unit two, lifestyle, recording one. Game. Newspaper. Sport. Magazine. Coffee. Cinema. Exercise. MP3 player. DVD. TV. Nothing. Film. Tennis, pasta, fun.
Unit two, recording two. Can I help you? Yes. Hi, I'm interested in one of your courses. Okay, which course do you want to do? Uh, I don't know. Can you help me? Sure. Well, do you like music? Yes, I do. I listen to music a lot at home, and、uh, I sing in the car sometimes. <laughs> Then maybe singing for fun. The class is on Monday and Thursday evenings, from six thirty till eight thirty at the music school. And what do they do in the classes? Well, the teachers play the guitar, and the students、uh, sing. Old songs, new songs. They.、Uh... I'm not sure. No, I don't think that's good for me. Okay. Let's see. Do you take photos? Well, I take them on holiday. Because the digital photography course is on Saturday mornings, from nine to twelve at the high school. A good time if you work Monday to Friday. You study how to take good photos. The teacher is a photographer. Hmm. No. No. I don't like photography much. Well, do you like dancing? There is a salsa group, Salsa for Beginners. They meet at the dance club on Tuesdays and Thursdays from seven to nine and practice salsa dancing. I know that at the weekend they meet and go to dance clubs. Oh no, I don't dance. Hmm. Okay. Where do you work? At a bank. And do you sit at your desk a lot? Yes, all day. I don't do much exercise. <laughs> yes, me too. I'm here all day on the computer, but I do office yoga. What do you do in an office yoga class? Oh, it's great! We meet here at Union County on Mondays and Wednesdays from seven thirty to nine. We learn exercises that you do at your desk, stretching and relaxing exercises. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Office yoga. How much is it? And when are the classes? Unit two, recording three. One. S. Sleeps. Drinks. Eats. Gets. Two. Z. Plays. Drives. Studies. Knows. Leaves. Three. Is. Relaxes. Washes. Practices. Unit two, recording four. One. What time does the train leave? Two. When does the train arrive? Three. What time does the tour start? Four. When does the tour finish? Five. Where does the tour start from? Six. How much does the tour cost? Seven. What time does the bank open? Eight. When does the bank close?
Unit 2. Recording 5. 1. Hello, National Rail. Can I help you? Yes, I want to go from London to Cambridge this morning. What time does the next train leave? There is one at 10.52, getting into Cambridge at 11.54.、Uh, sorry, could you speak more slowly, please? What time does it leave? 10.52. 10.52. That's soon.、Uh, what time's the next train after that? The next one leaves at 11.15. And when does it arrive in Cambridge? At 12.10. 12.10. Great. Thank you. 2. Hello. Hello. Can I help you? Yes, can you tell me about the Bangkok Temple tour? Okay.、Uh, what time does it start? It starts at 7 a.m. 7 a.m.? That's early.、Uh, when does it finish? Lunchtime, at about 1 o'clock. Okay, and where does it start from? Oh, it starts and ends at the Wat Phra Khao. Excuse me, the Wat Phra.、Uh, Could you spell that?、Uh, sure. W A T P H R A K A E W. Thanks. Would you like to book the tour? How much does it cost? 650 baht. How much is that in euros? 14 euros. Okay. Yes, please. Three. Hello, National Bank. Can I help you? Yes, just a question about your opening hours. What time do you open on Monday? We open at 9 30 on Monday to Friday. Sorry, could you repeat that? Nine. Half past nine. And what time do you close? At four. Are you open on Saturdays? Yes. From 10 a.m. And what time do you close? At 1 p.m. Okay, thank you. Unit 3 People Recording 1 1 Sister Mother 2 Cousin Uncle. Three. Wife. Niece. Four. Aunt. Father. Five. Son. Husband. Six. Grandfather. Parents. Seven. Daughter. Brother. Eight. Nephew. Friend. Unit three, recording two. Okay, Tom. Nice to talk to you. Bye. So who was that? My brother, Tom. Oh, have you got a lot of brothers and sisters? No, just one brother and one sister, Tom and Candy. Uh huh. Do you see them a lot? Well, Tom and I are very close. We often do things together, go to the cinema, play tennis. But I don't see Candy very often. She lives in Scotland, and we aren't very close. How about you, David? I'm from a big family. I've got five brothers and a sister. Five? <laughs> That's a lot of brothers. Yeah, but I don't see them often. Four of them live a long way away. Nick lives here in the city, 
but we hardly ever meet. Why not? Well, he's quite serious and quiet and, well, we like doing different things. He likes staying at home and reading and I... I'm quite active and I like going out. Oh, I see. It's the same for me and Candy. She doesn't like going out and she isn't very talkative. That makes telephoning a bit difficult. <laughs> yeah. So, what about your sister? Oh, Jenny and I, we're good friends. We're close. I talk to her a lot. She phones me every day for a chat. <laughs> Usually about her problems. Yeah? Well, she's got a difficult family situation. Her husband hasn't got a job. They've got three children. No money. You know. Oh. How old are the children? They're very young. Two, five and seven. All boys. Wow. Three young kids and no money. That's hard. Yes. So we never talk about my life. So she doesn't know about your new job? No. She thinks I'm still a waiter. But you have this great job now. You have to tell her. She is your sister. She'll be happy. Maybe you're right. I don't know. I feel uncomfortable. Oh, that's my phone. Who is it? Oh, it's my sister. Hold on. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Unit 3. Recording 3. 1. Kind. 2. Funny. Friendly. Stupid. Quiet. Boring. 3. Unkind. 4. Talkative. Serious. Interesting. 5. Unfriendly. 6. Intelligent. Review 1. Recording 1. 1. Finish. Sweater. Camera. Poland. Irish. Waiter. 2. Newspaper. Hairdresser. Listen to. Credit card. Canada. Mexican. 3. Colombia. Umbrella. Accountant. Do nothing. Adapter. Korean. 4. Engineer. Souvenir. Go to bed. Vietnam. Magazine. Portuguese. Review 1. Recording 2. 1. I don't like my mobile phone. I often want to be alone. But then my mobile phone, it rings. I really do not like these things. 2. What time does the train leave, please? At half past four. Here, take these. Two single tickets? Are they for me? Yes, for five euros. They're not for free. Three. Could I have a sandwich, please? Of course. What kind? 
Meat or cheese? Oh, I'm not sure. So can I please have one of those and one of these? Four. Are you free at half past five? No, sorry. That's when my friends arrive. Then how about meeting at three? Sorry, I'm busy. When are you free? Review one. Recording three. Can I help you? Hello. My, um, wallet. I, um... Oh, you've lost your wallet? Um, where did you have it last? I'm sorry. I don't understand. Uh, in the restaurant, I, um... No problem. Let me see. What color is it? Color? Ah, it's, uh, brown. And how much money is there in the wallet? Sorry. Could you speak more slowly, please? Um, how much money is in the wallet? Ah, uh, a hundred dollars. And, uh, uh, my credit card. Okay, let me look. Is this yours? No, no. My wallet's different brown. Oh, that's mine. Yes, in the box. Okay, sir. Just a moment. I want to be sure that it's your wallet. Of course it's my wallet. Can you tell me anything that's in the wallet? Sorry, could you repeat that? What else is in the wallet? Oh, uh, a photo of my wife. Okay. And some money and a credit card. Okay, this is yours. Thank you. Sorry, uh, just a moment. I need to write some details for our records. Your name is... Moretti. Vincenzo Moretti. That's M O double -R, R? No. One R and a double T. M O R E T T I. And your room number, Mr. Moretti? Three six eight. Have you got a mobile phone number? Yes. It's O three eight three seven four O two five four one two five. No, four O two five. <laughs> okay, thank you. Please sign here. <sighs> All right. Oh. Uh, what's the date? Today is the 9th of April. 9th... April... Okay. Thank you very much. Mr. Moretti? Yes? Is this your key card? Oh, oh yes. Thank you. Unit 4. Places. Recording 1. 1. Is there a living room? 2. There's a big kitchen. 3. Is there a television? 4. How many people are there? 5. There are two of us. 6. There's a large shopping centre. Unit 4. Recording 2. Here we are outside St Paul's Cathedral for our walking tour. On our way, we see the Museum of London, the Barbican Arts Centre, 
the Bank of England and the monument to the Great Fire of London. Let's walk down St Martin's Le Grand and to the Museum of London. We're going into the Museum of London now. You can see very old jewellery from around 400 years ago here. Let's go in. Next stop is the Barbican. We walk down London Wall and turn left at Wood Street. The Barbican is here. It's one of London's famous art centres. You can see a play in the theatre or you can watch a film in the cinema. Let's walk down Fore Street and turn right at Moorgate. Here you can find lots of supermarkets. You can buy food and also find restaurants for something to eat. Anyone hungry? Let's go down Prince's Street now. On the left is Threadneedle Street. You can see the old lady of Threadneedle Street here. That's what we call the Bank of England. Now, let's walk down King William Street to the monument. This is the monument to the Great Fire of London. It's 61 metres high. You can climb to the top. At the top, you can see all of London. There's also a post office just over there, so you can send your family and friends a postcard. OK, now let's walk back to the... Unit 5. Food. Recording 1. 1. Milk. Chicken. 2. Fish. Garlic. Three. Salad. Apple. Four. Pepper. Cheese. Five. Onions. Noodles. Six. Banana. Grapes. Seven. Lettuce. Butter. Eight. Juice. Fruit. Unit five. Recording two. Welcome to 24-7, the programme about people and lifestyle. Today, we're talking to Dr Mike McKay, who wrote the bestseller, The Junk Food Lover's Diet. So, Dr McKay, is it true that on your diet, I can eat anything I want? Yes, that's right. I can eat junk food, hamburgers, pizza, chocolate? It's all fine. You can eat anything you want and you'll lose weight. Well, can you explain that? It's very simple. You can eat anything, but you can't eat a lot. So go ahead, get a hamburger every week, but don't eat the whole thing. Eat half of it. Oh, I see. So with chocolate, for example, how much is enough? I love chocolate milk. Well, one glass of chocolate milk a day is a lot. On the junk food lover's diet, you can drink three glasses a week, no more. This sounds great. How about pizza? How much pizza is OK on the junk food lover's diet? For lunch, you can have one piece of pizza. Every day? Every day. I usually eat four or five. Well, you can't eat that much. 
One piece a day, seven a week, is enough. On the junk food lover's diet, you can eat anything, but not a lot of one thing. Is it okay to have pizza for dinner? Well, pizza is very rich, so have pizza at lunchtime and eat light foods for dinner. Okay. How about biscuits? Well, one packet of biscuits every day. You can't eat that, of course. But you can have two packets in a week. So Monday and Wednesday are biscuit days. Oh, okay. How much ice cream can I eat? One small bowl. One bowl a day? That's not bad. One a week? You can have one small bowl of ice cream a week, no more. And a diet cola? Or a regular cola. Really? Cola with sugar? Yep, but only one can a week. <laughs> Unit 5. Recording 3. 1. I'd like a hamburger with onion and tomato and some salad, please. 2. Could I have a chicken sandwich with corn on the cob and some onions on the sandwich, please, and some fries? 3. Can I have a hamburger with lettuce and onion and a salad too, please? Unit 5. Recording 4. 1. A hamburger with onion and tomato. Two. Could I have a chicken sandwich? Three. Corn on the cob? Four. Onions on the sandwich? Five. Lettuce and onion? Six. And a salad too, please. Unit 6. The Past. Recording 1. The 19th of March, 1959. October the 30th, 1995. The 31st of March, 2002. January the 6th, 1805. The 13th of October, 1957 The 21st of May 1910 January the 26th 2005 Unit 6 Recording 2 1 so. Worked Finished Stopped. Helped. Two. D. Changed. Loved. Played. Tried. Enjoyed. Travelled. Three. It started, wanted, hated. Unit 6, recording 3. Thought. Met. Spoke. Grew. Woke. Taught. Knew. Drew. Wrote. 
slept. Left. Bought. Unit 6. Recording 4. Well, we didn't have any children, so we adopted Zeeland seven years ago. We went to China and we met Zeeland there, and we brought her home with us to Sydney. She was about two years old, but at first there was a problem. Yes, she was a very intelligent little girl, but at first she was also really quiet. She ate a lot, but she didn't talk much, so we didn't know what to do. Yes, she was very unhappy. So we went on the internet and we looked for other families with adopted Chinese children, and we found a website and... Well, we got a big surprise. Yes, we wrote about Zilan on the website. We wrote about her birthday, that it was on May the 8th. And a woman in Melbourne wrote back to say that her daughter, also a Chinese girl named Lin, had the same birthday. So we put a photo of Zilan on the website and this other woman put up a photo of Lynn, and... Here are the photos. <laughs> look at them. The girls look exactly the same. Yes, so we started to think, yes, maybe they're sisters. Maybe they're twins. So we went to Melbourne with Zeeland, and the two little girls met. It was amazing from the first moment. They looked at each other with such love... And then they laughed and played together all day. For the first time, I felt that Zeeland was really happy. We were sorry to leave. Zeeland and Lynn never lived together, but they visit each other a lot. And they like the same things. Dancing and swimming. A and... year ago, we had tests. And it was true. They are sisters. And with the same birthday, of course. They're twins. When we told Zilan that Lynn really was her sister, she smiled and said, I know she's my sister. Unit 6. Recording 5. 1. What did you do on Saturday? I had lunch with my grandparents. That sounds nice. 2. Did you have a good day yesterday? No, we went for a walk and it rained. So what did you do? Three. Did you have a good weekend? I wasn't very well, so I stayed in bed. That sounds awful. Four. How was your weekend? Fantastic, thanks. Why? What did you do? Five. Did you do anything special at the weekend? No, we just stayed at home and relaxed. Oh, that sounds lovely. Review 2. Recording 1. 1. The oranges are next to the bread. 2. The cheese is between the beans and the pasta. 3. The pasta is under the rice. 4. The apples are on the left of the oranges. 5. The grapes are behind the carrots. 6. The bread is above the grapes and carrots. 7. The apples are between the rice and the oranges. 8. The beans are on the left of the carrots. Unit 7. Holidays. Recording 1. Empty. Noisy. Cheap. Boring. 
uncomfortable. Slow. Expensive. Quiet. Fast. Comfortable. Crowded. Interesting. Unit 7. Recording 2. Hello. It's 9.48am on Monday the 2nd of December. I'm Nick Young and I'm on the Trans-Siberian train. Uh, welcome to my audio diary. First of all, some facts. The Trans-Siberian is the longest train journey in the world. It's 9,300 kilometres and takes seven days. So this is day one. We left the city an hour ago and I'm here in my compartment. It's quite comfortable with two beds, one for me and one for Anton. Uh, Anton's from Sweden and he's very friendly. He doesn't speak much English, but that's not a problem. Hi, Nick here. Uh, it's day three and we're in Siberia. Out of the window you can see snow and forests and small villages for kilometre after kilometre. It's beautiful. Uh, about every two hours the train stops at a small station and there are women selling bread, fish, fruit or vegetables. We often buy food for lunch or dinner. When we get back on the train, we chat and read and have more cups of tea. Uh, then we have lunch and then dinner and then we go to bed. It's all very relaxing. Hi there, uh, this is my last audio diary on this journey. In one hour we get into Vladivostok station. Last night, the Russian lady in the carriage next door had her 50th birthday party. Uh, it was crowded, but we had a good time. So, what do I think about the Trans-Siberian train? Fantastic. And my best memories? Great dark forests, small Russian villages, and some good new friends. I really think this is the best journey of my life. Unit 7. Recording 3. 1. So, the park's between the cinema and the pharmacy. No, it's behind the cinema and the pharmacy. 2. So, the supermarket's between the cinema and the pharmacy. No, it's between the cinema and the post office. Three. So the cinema is the fourth building on the left. No, it's the third building on the left. Four. So, the cafe is the fourth building on the left? No, it's the fourth building on the right. Five. So, the post office is opposite the bank? No, it's opposite the museum. Six. So, the town hall is opposite the bank? No, it's next to the bank. Unit 8. Now. Recording 1. 1. Hello? Oh, hi, Rob. No, we're at the new exhibition at the National Gallery, and we're looking at the Klimt paintings. Yeah, they're fantastic. Okay, see you later. 
two. Nelly, it's me, Russ. Hi. Yeah, we're queuing to buy tickets for the concert. Do you want to come? I can get you a ticket. Two. Oh. Who's your new friend? Right. See you soon. Three. Hi. Oh, look, I can't talk now. We're just going into a concert. It's the Mozart. Yes, the Requiem. Sorry, I've got to go. Four. Hi, Felicity. Fine, thanks. Listen. Do you want to have a coffee later? After the match, maybe around four o'clock. Yeah, it's Nadal again. He's amazing. Oh, you're watching the match on TV. Right. See you at four. Five. Juja, I just had to call you. The new designs, they're fantastic. Everything's black and white, you know. Kate's wearing white and Fabio's in all black. Black jeans, a black sweater and black jacket. Okay, yeah, I'll take some pictures. Talk to you later. Unit 8, recording 2. 1. Are you looking for a film? Two. Is it an action film? Three. Is anyone famous in it? Four. Do you want to watch a film? Five. I haven't got a DVD player. Six. I've got it on my computer. Unit 8. Recording 3. 1. Are you looking for a friend? 2. Is it an action film? Three. Is anyone famous in it? Four. Do you want to buy a DVD? Five. I haven't got a CD player. Unit 9. Transport. Recording 1. 1. Fast. 2. Healthy. 3. Dangerous. 4. Inconvenient. 5. Difficult. 6. Convenient. 7. Safe. 8. Easy. 9. Comfortable. 10. Polluting. Unit 9. Recording 2. We're in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. And we're talking to Karin van Buren, 
Karen's riding a kind of scooter with a motor. Karen, what is this uh, machine called? It's a balancing scooter. And do you ride it around the city? Yes, I use it to go to work. Before this year, I went to work by bike or sometimes by bus. Then I saw a balancing scooter on the internet and thought that looks good, and I bought one. Is it difficult to ride? No, it's actually very easy. And how long does it take to learn to ride? It takes about two hours. Yes, it took me two hours. Can you ride it on the pavement here? No, you can't. You have to ride it on the road, or you can use the bike paths. And how fast does it go? The maximum speed is 25 kilometers an hour, but I usually go slower than that. Do you feel safe on it? Yeah, yes, I do. I always wear a helmet. The scooter doesn't go very fast, and it's easy to stop. And is it better than traveling by bus or bike? I think so. By bus, it took about 45 minutes to go to work, and now it takes me 20 minutes by scooter. And it's better than a bike, because I'm not hot when I arrive at work. Where do you leave your scooter at work? I take it into my office, and I leave it near my desk. Really? Yeah, it isn't a problem. Is it tiring to ride? Yes, it is quite tiring. You can't really relax. Is there anything else you don't like about the scooter? Sometimes people laugh at me, and I feel quite stupid. Oh, yes, and people often stop me and ask questions about it. I don't like that. Unit 9, Recording 3 Oh, hi. I'm really sorry I'm late. I missed the train. Mm, I don't believe you. No, really. The traffic was terrible. And? And my car broke down. Your car, again. And I left my wallet at home. Ah, your wallet. And... Okay, I forgot about our meeting. I feel terrible about this. Well, don't worry about it. I'm so sorry. No, really, it's fine. I'm so, so... That's okay, but don't let it happen again. Review 3. Recording 1. Hey, Jürgen. It's my wife's birthday tomorrow. Can you recommend a good restaurant? Well, what kind of food do you like? We both like Chinese food and uh, French food. There's a good restaurant called Bouchon in town. It serves French food. Do you think my wife would like it? Yes, I think so. It's quite romantic. <laughs> Where is it? It's in a small street near the cinema. Can you tell me the way? From the cinema, you go down Hillside Road, past the pharmacy, and turn left. Left at the pharmacy, OK. Then go straight on for about 200 metres. Bouchon is on the right. It isn't far. Great. Thanks. Hi, Greg. Did you find the restaurant? No. Oh? Why? Your directions were all wrong. You said to turn left at the pharmacy. Oh, no. And we did, but it took us completely the wrong way. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I always mix up left and right. Hmm. My wife was really angry. I feel 
terrible about this. In the end, we went home and ordered pizza. Oh, no. Oh, well. Maybe next year. Don't worry about it, really. Unit 10. Plans. Recording 1. Hot. Thirsty. Warm. Wet. Lost. Stung. Cold. Hungry. Unit 10. Recording 2. Speaker 1. Well, the most difficult thing was that there was so much water, but I was so thirsty. Food wasn't a big problem because I caught fish and ate them. Of course, I got sunburnt after the first day because I had nothing to put on my head. And I was afraid of sharks. Once I saw one, but it just swam around the raft for a few minutes, and then it went away. Speaker 2 I felt very small and very tired. I walked all night, very slowly because of the sand, and I tried to stay cool in the daytime, but it was so hot. On the second day, I found some water, that was very lucky. But then I wanted to walk more, not just stay by the water. I wanted to try to find my way back to the town. I had food with me, so I didn't get hungry. Just very thirsty. Once I saw a snake, and I was afraid that one might go into my shoe, so I never took my shoes off. Speaker 3 there was snow everywhere. Everything was white, and that's why I got lost. I didn't see the path. I was up there only one night, but it was the longest night of my life. The most important thing was staying warm. I didn't have enough clothes with me, so I got terribly cold. I wanted to make a fire, but everything was wet. I slept on the ground and got colder. I didn't think about food. I wasn't really hungry, but just so thirsty. It was difficult. Very difficult. Speaker 4 There was water, so I didn't get thirsty. And I didn't get too hungry because I knew what kind of plants to eat. Of course, I got very lost. I walked day and night. But you know, you can never ever get bored there. There are so many different types of plants and animals and insects. It was beautiful. So yes, I felt tired and lost, but not bored. Unit 10. Recording 3. 1. You get cold. You'll get cold. Two. We'll miss the train. We miss the train. Three. I'm sure you'll hate it. I'm sure you hate it. Four. They know you're a tourist. They'll know you're a tourist. Five. I stay at home. I'll stay at home. 6. I'll never go out. I never go out. Unit 11. Health. Recording 1. Elbow. Thumb. Leg. Knee. 
Head. Neck. Stomach. Hand. Nose. Toe. Mouth. Back. Unit 11. Recording 2. Hello and welcome to Working Week, where we take a look at the world of work. This week we're looking at time management. We all know there are 24 hours in a day, but some people are just much better at using these than other people. In today's programme, we'll look at ways to improve the time we spend at work, things we should do and things we shouldn't. Professor Emma Fields from the Institute of Work Psychology joins us today. Emma, what are the good and bad time management techniques? Well, the first thing you have to do is to make sure you have time to plan. Most of us start work without organising our week and days first. You should always give yourself some planning time. Secondly, make sure you don't forget your plans. Write a to-do list for the day and for the week. We all try to keep too much in our heads and of course we forget things. It's better to make a list and make only one list. Some people make two or three different lists and that doesn't help. Thirdly, put the most important things at the top of the list and do them first. A lot of people do the things they like doing first, not the important things. Fourthly, don't multitask. Do one thing, then do another thing. When you multitask, you work more slowly. Each task takes more time. And you often make mistakes when you do two or more things at the same time. Finally, work smarter, not harder. We all spend extra time in the office trying to finish something. But is that last hour on Friday the best time to do it, when you are tired and not concentrating? If you're smart, you'll make time for the task on Monday morning. You'll do it better and more quickly then. Unit 11. Recording 3. Are you OK, Jim? No. I have to meet Anne at 5.30 and look at this list. Let me help. I'm not busy at the moment. Oh, can you? Thanks. No problem. Shall I phone Noriko? Yes, please. And then I'll email the Moscow office. Can you tell them I'll phone tomorrow? OK. And I'll get some flowers for Ellie. I'm going to the hospital to see her tonight anyway. Fantastic. Let me give you the money. It's OK. Give it to me tomorrow. Thanks a lot. I'll do the same for you any time. Unit 12. Experiences. Recording 1. Be in a play. Ride an elephant. Climb Mount Bromo. Do a bungee jump. Meet a new friend. Go to a match. Sleep outside. Watch the sunrise. Unit 12. Recording 2. 1. Have you ever flown in a helicopter? No, I haven't. Have you? Yes, I have. Just once, when I went helicopter skiing. Five years ago. That sounds interesting. What's helicopter skiing? 
a helicopter takes you up the mountain and you ski from there. And how was it? It was fun. I enjoyed it. Two. Matt, have you ever sung in a karaoke club? No. But I've sung at a party. It was last year sometime. No, two years ago. At a birthday party. What did you sing? I can't remember. Oh, yes. Uh, I did it my way. It was fun. I can't sing. But it was a good laugh. Um, why are you asking? I'm going to a karaoke club tonight. And I'm feeling quite nervous about it. Oh, you'll be all right. Just relax and enjoy it. Three. What's the matter? I have to drive to Dublin tomorrow. And look at the rain. Have you ever driven in really bad weather? Yes. I drove up to Scotland to visit my grandparents in 2007. And it just snowed non-stop. It was impossible to see the road ahead. Sounds dangerous. Yes. So I stopped and stayed overnight in a hotel. After that, I always visit them by train. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll go by train. Four. Look at this picture. It looks scary. Have you ever been on a roller coaster like that? Yes, when I was about 19 in Munich. A friend of mine took me on a really big roller coaster. Were you afraid? No. After 10 seconds, I closed my eyes and didn't open them until it stopped. Unit 12, Recording 3. 1. 3 7281 6 0870 Review 4 Recording 1 Could I speak to Susie D? She's not at home. She's back at 3. Could you phone her back tonight? I'll leave a message. Is that all right? Just a moment. I need a pen. She's got my number. My name's Ben. Let me check. Your name is Jack. Oh, never mind. I'll call her back. Well, hello, Susie. How are you? I'm fine. What would you like to do? Why don't we meet and have a chat? I don't really feel like doing that. Then how about a walk together? Sounds good. Let me check the weather. It's going to rain. That's not ideal. So let's stay in and cook a meal. <laughs>